Hey good lookings, what's cookings? It's another Scribble Sunday. You join me here back on Edwin's farm after I've just finished designing my trucking hat. If you watch my Euro Trucks and Vids you know that I have a hat that I've scribbled truck on in crayon and this is pretty much an accurate representation of that. I got rid of the old sun hat, although that was pretty styling. This is even more styling and it fits the sort of colour scheme I got going on. Um, so I wonder if Duncan still got the Easter Bunny in that force field actually. Hey Duncan, you appear to have <laughs> become even more of a mad villain. You've you've got a cat and you're sitting in a crazy big armchair. That's normal. So we okay. That's not the Easter Bunny. That's Rithian. Duncan, you put Rithian in the force field again. You know, we've been over this. I went over this last time. You you know not to do this. Oh my gosh. Does this hold on? Does this mean what I think it means? Have you also put nukes under the farm? Oh my gosh. Where where are the nukes? Where are the nukes, Duncan? I'm onto your game. You always do this. You always put someone in a force field. And th yeah, I'll tip you over. That was completely intentional. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that will teach you. Great. Um, where, where are the nukes? You always do this. You put someone in a force field and then plant loads of nukes. And I don't know. I don't know why you do that. I don't know. On the end of the bed. Can't check under the bed. On the end of the fridge. They're in the fridge. You put three nukes in the fridge. But that's fine. I guess. Because. There we go. I eat nukes for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I've been wanting to say that for ages. That's the best joke you've ever done. Sorry. Just pack it up. Just pack it up. There we go. Om nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Good. That'll teach you, Duncan. I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll figure out a way to get you out of there later with you. And I have to... Lily's my priority right now. I need to get some more star rates and figure out this problem. So we're... We're dom the axe base. And um, where are we going to go? We need to get a couple more star rates. We should go to the only place we haven't been to yet in the, in the first area. Which is that one right there. The Capital City Firehouse. Let's... Let's go. Oh, there's already a fire. We should probably deal with that. Pretty sharp. Um, deal with that straight away. And there's a zombie as well. That's actually that's quite a lot of weird things going on up there. We'll um, that's that's fine. We'll we'll, we'll figure out what's going on here. Um, the little doggy over there. Hey, doggy. I need to look the part to become a firehouse dog. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Um, okay. Well, if we're gonna turn you into a fire truck, um. We need to give you wheels. There we go. And we need to give you a, sig a signal. A signal? Sig. What's that? I don't know. Like a little alarm thing. Alarm? There we go. We give you an alarm. Uh, oh, you lost the wheels. That's fine. Um, I think the alarm's more important. Because you get. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we make you. We make you hovering instead, so you can fly to the so you can fly to the fire instead of <laughs> wheeling there. And then, what else do you need? You need a way to actually put out the fires. So you need a giant hose. Oops, no, actually, yeah, we do that the other way. If you pick up the if you pick up that, and we attach that to you, there we go. You got the hose. Done, done. That's sorted. And now we need to actually... Oh, we need protection, obviously. You can't get burnt by the fire. So we give you a little fireman helmet. There we go. Yay! The dog turned into a fire truck. Catch you later, doggy. <laughs> that was cute. That was fun. Um, who have we got next? Help me test all of the alarms. Oh, my gosh. Um, how many have you got? You got one up there. You got one up there. You got one up there. You got three, I think. Got three alarms, so let's test out this one first. If we, I mean, the best way to test out the alarm would be to use fire and see if it reacts to that. So we'll plonk that there. Oops, kind of set him on fire. That's fine. Um, ooh, ooh, we get rid of that. I'm, I'm not quite as good as control at controlling fire as my Minecraft persona is. She can pretty much just make fire in an instant. Just clicks her fingers, boom, done. Clicks them again, boom, gone. She can control it. It's a bit weird. Right, I, I assume, I assume he's, he's okay. He doesn't seem... He was wearing protection, so that's fine. 
That's good. Um, hello. I need to restart this dummy's heart. I need to restart this dummy's heart. Cause it's my turn for first aid learning. Um, anyway, <laughs> if we cut a little hole into his chest, um, done. <laughs> and then, and then put a heart in. Is that what we're supposed to do? Are we doing a heart transplant right now? No? Is that not what you meant? Oh, okay, we need to restart the heart. Right, 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 right. Um, so we need electricity. Uh, Tesla coil. There we go. If we bust in a massive Tesla coil. Okay, it's not actually reaching him. So if we if we drop it from the sky. Whee! Bloing. Did that work? That actually worked. That actually worked. So that's good. Uh, he does not look creepy at all. That is not creepy. Having a dummy come to life and walk around. That is that is not creepy at all. Isn't that a goosebump book? I don't know. Um. Anyway, we we try <laughs> we try and make him blend in a bit better. Let's um let's give him a wig. There we go. Ooh, doesn't quite fit, but that's fine. <laughs> you look a bit more like an average person now. Um. How about a bow tie? Bow ties are cool. You should wear a bow tie. No. I'll wear the bow tie. Not a problem. How about a fez? Fezzes are cool. There we go. That's that's normal. You look like any average member of society right there. That's no no one will think anything different. <laughs> Let's put out this fire. I forgot about that. We should probably put that out. Um. Let's get a portable pool. <laughs> there we go. Done. Good. Right. Great. Um, how can I help? People say I have issues. Who can help me? You're the one who set the fire. You're the one who ruined that building. Why would you do that? Right, we need to make you relax. We need to... We need to get your mind off of burning things. So... What can we do? We can... Actually... Mmm. If I make you... Slippery... And watery... Oh, is that an adjective? Is that an actual word? Watery? Apparently it is. There we go. Now any fire you make will be instantly put out. So that solves that problem at least. Um, and then we need to actually put your mind off of fires. We need to focus your mind. Help you settle down. You should try yoga. I try yoga. I meditate a lot. So if we bust in a... Why do I say bust in instead of bring in? I keep thinking about busts. Um, a yoga instructor. There we go. It should just teach you what to do. Just put down a yoga mat. There we go. You just... You just Pop on it like that. You just um, um. No, you're not interested. Tell you what, if we give you, if we give you another hobby, um, instead of yoga, we can try yo-yos. There we go. Or, or not. No, is that not a thing? Not like that. Tell you what, after all the help that I've given you, I've, I've basically ther therapized you. Thera Th therapyized you and you're now completely sane after talking to me for five minutes like anyone would be they wouldn't go crazier <laughs> so there we go yay I solved the problem by just talking just talk about your problems even if it's to a crazy girl who's half vampire and wearing a hat that says truck on it that's normal um right let's carry on did I miss anything down here is there anything else on oh loaded up the map silly me I thought I helped you Help me rebuild the building. Ah, you've learnt the error of your ways and you want to rebuild. That's fine. That's good. We can work with that. If we bust in... <laughs> if we bust... Why do I keep saying bust in? That doesn't even make sense. If we bring in a crane... Boom. And then if I just hop in that... Ah, oh, it's like I'm actually driving Mildred. Except with a crane. That's adorable. There we go. Wee! Look at that. That's totally doing something. If I climb it, maybe? Ooh! Ah! Help! Help! Oh, that was, that was great. We'll, um, we'll just, we'll just drive this over here. And just get rid of, get rid of that. Um, we need to actually repair it then. So if we get, if we get a wrench. Good old wrenchy. There we go. Done. Um, we will... Hit it. Hit it. No? Is that not happening? Tell you what, you, you try. You try. There we go. Wow. That's... That was impressive. You built an orphanage. You built an orphanage. That's... Wow. 
I actually respect you for that. You're awesome. Um, let's carry on. Right. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Sorry about earlier setting you on fire. I assure you, it was necessary to test how the alarms work. That's what you, that's what you're going to give me the star right chart for. So you know, necessary. Um, let's test out this one. Place. Oh, I could have. I could have just tapped it. I could have just pushed the button and see if it worked. That would have made. That would have been easier. But that's fine. So that one works. Um, she snores so loudly. I can't sleep. Oh dear. Well. <laughs> I think Jigglypuff might have come to the firehouse. Um, anyway, if we if we make her really, really, really small, then you won't hear her anymore. Oops, I made the bed small as well. That's fine. Um, maybe if I, I'll just, I'll just take her down here, take her over here. There we go. Maybe if I put her in one of these lockers. We put her in the pink one. There's a hat in there. There we go. Can't hear her anymore, right? Is she still? Can you still hear her? Oh, but she's just, she's just looking at locker. How can you possibly hear that? Okay, we we'll try something else. If we if we make her quiet, yeah, let's just make her quiet. A tiny little quiet fire woman, firefighter. There we go. You ain't hear her anymore. And he's off to sleep. He's falling asleep in the armchair and he's counting sheep. That's normal. Um, can I wear that? I can pick it up. That's fine. <laughs> we'll leave that there. Um, what next? I haven't tested all the alarms yet. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's that one up there. We go for that one. Oh, hello. I can't find my helmet anywhere. Oh, I may just pick that up. Hold on. Be right back. I have to slide down this pole. Whee! <laughs> that was fun. There you go. That was easy. Done. Good. You are quite pretty in pink. It suits you. Um, there we go. Right. There's a zombie there. We'll ignore the zombie. We'll try to anyway. Um, ooh. That's giving that's give me bad memories of the previous zombie invasion. What time is it? Can I go home yet? Uh, the time is... What is the time? I'm not wearing a watch. It's, t it's time for you to get a watch. Ha ha ha. Uh... <laughs> Let's give you a sundial. It's a nice sunny day out, and you're in a fire station, so you can make a little fire and find the. T no, that wouldn't really work. It, whatever. Just try using the sundial. That works. That's fine. There we go. Great. Um, hi zombie. Just ignore me, please. Well, oh, let's sort out this one. Well, that that solved that problem. Um, oh. I, oh, I'm not sure I was meant to do that. Will, uh, hello. <laughs> this steak needs to be tenderized before we can cook it. So you need some kind of... If I attack it with my axe base? Kupachow! Kupachow! Is that not working? Kupachowy! No, okay. You need something a bit blunter than an axe, I think. Something to t actually tenderize it. Um, why is it horned? Why does it have horns? What's a good, what's a good, like, hammer? A massive, massive hammer, massive mallet. Oh, the best hammer would be to use Mjolnir. Hold on, I should probably get Thor's permission before I do that. <laughs> hey, Thor, what's up? Tell you what, if I let you hold my axe base, will you let me hold Mjolnir? You will? Great. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And we'll attack it. Done! Nice! Thanks, Thor! Hope you enjoyed the steak. There we go. That's another star right shard. Uh, can I have my axe base back now, please, Thor? Thor, please can I have it back? Thor! Thor! I'll give you Mjolnir. There you go, thank you. <laughs> Great. Um. Whoops. Are we done? No, we're missing one. But I don't. Th I think we're going to have to reset the level to get that one because I messed up on the alarms. And I also set him on fire. So we'll try that again. Boom. Oh, the doggy's back. Did you have fun? Did you have fun being a little fire doggy truck? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's the best firefighter dog in the world? You are. You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry, what was I doing? <laughs> um, test out the alarms. Okay. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, I've lost my wings. How did I lose my wings? I lost my axe base as well. We should probably get those back. There we go. Right, so this one... That one worked. We knew that. We knew that. That's fine. And this one... Also works. Good. Good. Right, now this one is the problem one, isn't it? Right. What can we do? Chargeless. Okay, it needs to be... We need to charge it somehow. We need... We need a giant Tesla coil. That's going to be my new thing now. Instead of giant fans, we're going to use giant Tesla coils. Kapitawi. Yay, that worked! Why did that... How did that work? I don't know, but it worked! That's the important thing. Um, so that's all these Starlight Shards from the Firehouse got. we still got the actual Starlights to do. But what I'm going to do... Um, oh, I should probably tell you. I'm not going to really be around next weekend. I'm away. Um, but I'm going to try and pre-record a uh, Scribblenauts episode. And I'll do like all the Starlight Shards that I miss. So I'll get the one from Hyphen Heights. I'll get the, the two from the diner, which I apparently never did. And I'll get the, the two from the Firehouse. Um, so that, that should be enough to cover an episode, so that'll be fine, and I'll get that ready for you for next time. Um, anyway, let's go back to the farm. Silly object of the week, dun dun, biddly bow bow bow. Whoa, Zoe, that sound is so awesome, how did you do that? I don't know, but my arms kind of exploded off. Whoa, that's awesome! Hello, welcome to Silly Object of the Week. This week's Silly Object is Mildred the Truck. You all asked to see her, and I thought it was an amazing idea, as I've got my truck hat on, and I thought it would be a cool way to try and bust Vivian out of the force field as well. If we add loads of weapon attachments to her, maybe we can just make the force field explode, and Lan will be like, no, or something like that. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to turn the bus station at the farm into something a bit more of a truck station. Truck depot, truck yard, truck yard. Truck yard? Is that actually an already a thing? Train yard? No. Okay, we'll have to make our own one. Um, so there's the depot. Boom. We go large on that. There we go. Um, and a little garage. 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 There we go. And we need the actual truck. There is... The tr wow, okay, that looks, that looks a bit poopy, doesn't it? That looks a bit poopy pants. We're gonna have to, gonna have to make that a bit awesomer. So what we will do, there we go, boom. I see a red truck and I want it painted black. <laughs> that was, oh, that was, that was so good. That was funny. That was funny. So there we go. That's done. And boom, 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 boom. Good. And red headlights look awesomer. Good. So that's that's the basis. That's the base Mildred. Now we need to actually add Mildred effect. Um. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna make some fluffy dice to hang at the top like this. You might be thinking, how are you gonna make that look good? That's just a ball of yarn. But what? Through my magic, I can make it small, and then I can put it there. And then if I angle this right, I can then put it a layer behind, and look, it looks, oops, <laughs> and look, it looks just like string. Like, you don't even know the yarn's there. And then we'll attach the dice to it, like that. There we go. Um, mm, that doesn't look quite good. It needs to be fluffy dice. There we go. Good, some pink fluffy dice. If anything, I can say that this truck was rare. But I thought, nah, forget it. Let's carry on. Um, right, here we go. Here's the actual effect for Mildred. So she actually comes to life. She needs an eye. And she needs a mouth. Which is good there. And she needs... What did I put that one in for? Ah, oh, the spot... Oh, yeah, okay. We'll have a weapon attachment at the front. So when I crash into the force field, it explodes. We'll have a chair there so that I can actually rest. Um, we will. I think that's. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty decent. We will. I've got two. I've got two mouths on, on Mildred. That's fine. There we go. Boom, and boom, and angle it like that, and angle that one like that. 
There we go. So that's 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 Mildred's face done. <laughs> um oh, and we put the chair back like that. There we go. Wow, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm feeling really good about editing stuff now. Like you can just do so many things with the layers. Um we give her a little bow. Uh, boom, 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 like that. That's that sorted. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And steering wheel. Done. Mm, it's not quite what. It's not quite the right angle, but whatever. We went with that. <laughs> Plunk that in the back like that. There we go. And she needs cargo. Oh, if she was carrying like fire. Ah, oh, and that would burn the force of her down. And it would look like we crashed, but this one is actually intentional. We actually want to crash into the force field and bust it open with the nail and set it on fire with the fire in the back there. So there we go. That That's fine. That's what I need. And one last thing. We will add some little flame decals. There we go. This this isn't gonna look good. This is, this is gonna look quite bad actually. But we we try it. We try it. There we go. There we go. Oh oh, I'm trying to make this look like fire, and it just looks like it, well, it just looks like diamonds. But um, if I do it like that, maybe. There we go. That's our flame decal. That's definitely a flame decal. That's fire. So that's Mildred the truck. Boom. Mildred the truck. Okay, so there we go, that's Mildred. We will hop in, add one last thing, one last detail. Turbo. Oh, and we can also put it on fire. Wah! Wah! Now let's bust out with the uh oh. What? Well, um, Okay, we're, um... Right, so we took care of the force field, but with the end, you appear to have already made it out yourself, haven't you? That's... that's good. I should have expected that, really. You are quite awesome. Um, okay, well, we still got Mildred. We still got Mildred. She might come in useful later on. Rithian has... Rithian's pretty much taken care of himself. I don't know what you've done with Duncan. What have you done with Duncan? Where is he? What have you done with him? Oh, I have to go find Duncan now. Um, catch you next time. You're awesome. Bye. Catch you next time. You're awesome. Bye. Catch you next time. You're awesome. Bye.